This pulley system looks complex. As you will see, it's actually very easy to solve with free body diagrams. Here's the solution in about one minute. The goal is to find the force required to hold up the 800 pound weight. You start by drawing a free body diagram for the bottom pulley and imagine cutting the rope and isolating this section in space. Wherever you cut, the components must be in static equilibrium. The 800 pound weight is supported by the upward tension in the rope on both sides of the pulley. This tension is one half of the weight. And now we move up and draw a free body diagram for the next pulley. We just showed that the downward load on this pulley is the weight divided by two. So now the tension in the rope must be the weight divided by four. And we repeat this procedure. The tension in the rope for this pulley will be one eighth the weight. And finally, for the last pulley, we just showed that the tension in the rope is one eighth of the weight. This tension gets transmitted to where the load is supported, and that's the final answer. The force needed to hold the 800 pound weight is 100 pounds. This pulley system has a mechanical advantage of eight to one. And here's a final check. It's a free body diagram for the entire pulley system, cutting away the upper support. The total downward load is 900 pounds. The forces in the ceiling also sum to 900 pounds upwards. So the entire pulley system is in static equilibrium and we can be confident that the analysis is correct.